Mr. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, Honorable Ministers and Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to address this conference on behalf of Brazil. We wish to congratulate the government of the United Arab Emirates for hosting this important conference and to express our appreciation for the warm welcome we have received. Brazil has strengthened its relation with the United Arab Emirates with the start of the operation of YESSAT company in Brazil using the satellite AI Yat 3 Mr. Chairman, during the last couple of years, we have advanced significantly on discussing digital transformation, its premises and its impacts. In this context, ITU has an important role in leveraging ICT. And in this dynamic digital ecosystem, the organizations must be able to rethink themselves at a faster place, pace. I shall say that in the geopolitical design of ITU, Brazil will always make efforts to propitiate a fertile field of mediation with the, different, with the comprehension that sharing and debating different approaches requires trust. And trust demands understanding, which in turn requires dialogue. Our diversity is our most important asset. Regarding the national contest, Brazilian President Michel Temer signed a decree creating the national system for digital transformation. This strategy aims at harmonizing the federal government initiatives related to the digital environment in order to take advantage of the potential of digital technologies to propel, promote sustainable and inclusive economic and social development. The strategy also addresses topics such as telecommunications infrastructure, understanding the importance of connecting the unconnected. It also includes taxation and cybersecurity, stating that the development of the digital economy requires confidence in the digital environment. As in all countries, we face regulatory challenges in the new and dynamic digital ecosystem. Our concerns lie particularly with the connectivity and the need of a meaningful digital inclusion. Once we are certain that nowadays social inclusion presupposes digital inclusion. The United Nations and the ITU within their mandates and competencies should play a key role in if the efforts about those themes and that surpass, surpass national initiatives. This premise is the basis of a Brazilian proposal concerning telecommunications related aspects of OTTs and cybersecurity. By doing so, I am confident we shall not only contribute to ICT environment, but further than that, we shall give a contribution to many of the sustainable development goals. In this contest, regarding infrastructure, Brazil is already planning a new spectrum auction to foster the new possibilities related to the so-called 5G in the 3.5 gigahertz and 3.3 gigahertz bands and working towards to release the 26 gigahertz band right after the WRC19. Infrastructure expansion, growth of ICTs, digital inclusion, sustainability and innovation, as much as the new ITU strategic goals are also the building blocks of Brazil's objectives and policies for ICTs. This is not a coincidence, but an evidence that the Brazilian agenda is aligned with the goals of the ITU and fully recognize the ICT's positive externalities. It's also, it is also an indication that Brazil and the ITU will greatly benefit from the synergy of working together. We look forward to continuing our active participation in this very much appreciated and important union in all of the three sectors, ITUR, ITUR, ITUT, and ITUD. Finally, we express our thanks to our Secretary General for his tireless 
efforts leading ITU and wish you all the best in the coming challenge, as well as fruitful discussions during the conference. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.